Today, I'm gonna to show you my current background for my classroom. It's kind of changed throughout all of my teaching because I've moved a few times. Moved. <laughs> when I say classroom, I actually do it in my laundry room. A trifold is what I use. I'm sure you can use a different one. I love that it's upside down. <laughs> here we go. So I open it up and here's my classroom. It's really simple, but it gives me a nice little backdrop. I have it really close next to me when I teach. It's further away from my children's bedroom, so they don't hear me giggling and talking loud. So I'm gonna show you what I look like to my students in my classroom. All right, let's go to the laundry room. This is where the magic happens. All of my kids come into my classroom every day to see my dirty laundry. Just kidding. Here's my trifold. What I do is I take it, set it up right here, and it kind of pulls across just like that, and they never know that they're on washer and dryers. But I'm a little nervous sometimes that it's gonna topple over, so I just take my dryer sheet holder here, and I put it right behind, and it gives it a good, it gives it a pretty good support, and then it just sits up like that. This is what it looks like. My students see me in front of this every day. It's pretty simple. Well, I think it looks pretty good. I can fold it up every day and put it right next to my dryer. Uh, I don't have to like take time setting things up. It's just pinned on there. I have these all taped on. These are taped. Uh, this I just have clipped on with one of these. Super easy. And this is a placemat that I just found. You could probably find a bunch of other cute ones. Um, this has sometimes numbers. Sometimes I put pictures in it. Um, right now I just have some words that we might use in a lesson and I just throw those up. Best background ever if I'm just wanting to keep it super simple and not take up a whole space in my house with an office or a classroom. I do it in my laundry room because I have great lighting. I have a fluorescent light in this laundry room and so it just really brightens it up. Um, I turn up my screen on my computer so it's really bright. Um, I also then bring in my laptop, plug it in. I have a counter space in here and we're in business. Mm -hmm. We're going, we're teaching, we're learning English. I also have a toy room real close by, so I will go and snag all the toys from there and we will have props. I keep my puppets real close by. I will show you the chair that I really prefer when I'm teaching because when you sit for a long time, your back starts to hurt and it can be uncomfortable. True story. I actually had to go to the chiropractor because I was teaching so much and I would be like leaning forward. So I was kind of like doing this motion and I was always clicking and I threw my back out so badly. It was because I was sitting horribly while teaching English. Sad story, but true, I'm all better now. And I use a better chair. So I'm gonna show you that too. Boom, 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 boom. This is the chair of choice. I actually bought this for my husband when he worked his nine to five job and he was at a desk for a long time. Now that he doesn't work there, I have inherited the chair. It's fabulous for long hours and early mornings. Keeps me sitting up straight the whole time. Relieves pressure because I get to put my knees here, my bones here. I don't ever feel uncomfortable. It's fabulous. Fabulous. I have a, a variety of ways I like to sit on it. That's it, baby. Hey, I hope this video was helpful. Fun tips on tricks and how to make things work when you're in tight places because right now our family's in a rental that's tight and small for us but hey the laundry room works i get the job done and no complaints from the kids and thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up subscribe email me at esloteaching at gmail.com if you need any questions answered or if you have any questions send them my way and i'll make a video about it i'll catch you in the classroom Find me at ESL Online Teaching and he. <laughs>
You can find me online at eslonlineteaching.com or email me at esloteaching at gmail.com.